All right, what's going on, everybody? So I got some bad news for y'all. Yu Yu Hakusho is getting a live-action adaptation over on Netflix. Yeah, you heard right. That same Yu Yu Hakusho, that classic anime from uh, Tagashi. Yeah, um, that's getting an anime. I mean, that's getting a live-action series over at Netflix. Now, I'm unclear on whether or not this is going to be a Hollywood a production or if it's going to be a Japanese production um, So just to kind of give you a little bit of the details here so for executive producer we have Akira Mori and Kazutaka Sakamoto and then uh, The studio producing it is going to be robot. It's not bad robot Don't get it confused. It's not bad robot bad robot is JJ uh, Abrams um, uh, His his studio or his company or whatever. Um, this is Robot, a separate company. I think it's based. It might be based in Japan, based off of what I'm, uh, based off of what I've looked up here. So what I'm what I'm showing you guys now is just a list of of Robot's uh, past work. Uh, they've been involved with the Assassination Classroom live action, Assassination Classroom graduation uh, live action, Always Always Sunscreen. Always Sunset on Third Street Three live action film. Um, they also did. If we scroll down, they did uh, Summer Wars. They did Wild Seven. I'm not familiar with that. Uh, Ring of Gundam. They did Space Battleship Yamoto. That is live action. It's a live action movie. I think so. I think just judging off of their. Um, their body work here okay and they also did the prologue production on uh last on uh naruto, naruto the last movie so like based off of their um yeah so based off of their body of work here i i think it's safe to say that this is going to be a japanese production i could be wrong about that but hopefully it's a japanese pr like here's the thing uh like best like in, in a perfect world this wouldn't even happen to be honest because Here's the thing, I, I honestly don't have faith in this. For for one, Netflix, I haven't made it any secret in the past. I've been very vocal on my dislike and, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, well, disappointment of Netflix in terms of their output. I feel like they are more quantity over quant quantity over quality. Uh, and, um, yeah, Death Note, the Death Note live action, uh, uh, movie that they did years ago. Yeah, that, that still, I have not forgotten about that. I haven't forgotten about that. Uh, they got something to prove, or at least, or at least for me. And I, I think I can speak for a lot of anime fans out there wh where, like, because I, I always hear this sentiment out there where it's like, yeah, I don't know why they always, I don't know why, uh, Hollywood and all these other companies always try to put these, uh, Always try, always try to adapt these uh, anime and manga into uh, live action because sometimes it doesn't work. I think now, I think I'll, I'll say this: I think that Yu Yu Hakusho could work. It's one of those series that could work, but the thing is, is like Death Note could have worked too, but they butchered it. So if this is a American, if this is a Hollywood production, then we have to question. Then we have to wonder and be be uh, very. Uh, very skeptical uh, going into this because their track record, they don't, like Hollywood doesn't really have a good track record uh, when it comes to uh, bringing, uh, when, it, when it comes to adapting manga and, um, and anime. Like, yeah, they, they've gotten better over the years. Like Dragon Ball Evolution was like the worst thing. Dragon Ball Evolution, uh, Avatar, you know, usually when a, when a new live action uh, anime adaptation is is brought up, is announced. Then people start bringing up the the past when it comes to Hollywood, especially if it's, especially if it's a Hollywood production. Then people are always going to bring the past up. Like I think the best thing that Hollywood has done in terms of anime adaptations is the Alita Battle Angel movie. I thought that that was good. Um, Ghost in the Shell was all right to me, but I know some people didn't like that. But, like, those are, like, the best that they've done in terms of, like, at least trying to honor, at least trying to honor and respect the, uh, the source material. And, like, Yu Yu Hakusho, it just joins the long list of, of anime and manga that are being adapted into live action. Uh, Netflix, I've, 
believe I've done a video on this in the past about One Piece um, getting a live action series over at Netflix. We haven't even heard a lot about that. There was a uh, there was a script that got leaked, but other than that, we haven't heard anything on that. A Naruto movie got announced years ago, and we haven't heard anything on that. There was supposed to be a Bleach, either a Bleach movie or or series or something, but then um, but then uh, what's his face? Uh, the the Bleach creator. Uh, he basically canned that or something. I believe so. There was a Bleach live action. Uh, there was a Japanese production that was on Netflix that I, I saw parts of it. it was It was kind of bad, so I didn't really watch it. Um, but as as far as this goes, um, like I said, you, I think that Yu Yu Hakusho could work. Honestly, I think I'll say this. I think I think both of Tagashi's properties could work in live action even hunter hunter and i'm not a big fan of that but i think that both of those can work but the, the thing is if, if it's a if it's a japanese production the quality is not going to be there the um the budget is not going to be there most likely it's not going to look very good it might be more like usually when with this sort of thing if, if it's japanese it's going to for the most part, it's it you'll you'll have a better chance of getting a product that is um that is more faithful to the source material than than if than if um Hollywood were to tackle it because Hollywood is going to try to um make make the movie appeal to a wider audience to a wider uh to a wider demographic whereas the Japanese are going to respect the source material more or at least. That's how, uh, or at least that, that's that's what I'm thinking here. I mean, if, if it's a Hollywood production, then we can expect big budget. Maybe they won't go for a big name. I think they, I think Hollywood has changed enough to the point that they will probably cast, um, they'll probably cast Japanese actors or they'll even, or at least for the main character, they'll, they'll probably cast Japanese actors, and they'll they'll probably put some. They'll probably change the race of certain characters for diversity's sake, which some people might hate. And honestly, I wouldn't be a fan of it. Only if, like, if it if it's a Lakeith Stanfield uh, situation, like with uh, Death Note. So like, it's like if if any of y'all have not have not seen the Death Note movie. That a uh, lot that um that Netflix did that Death Note movie years ago, uh, Lakeith Stanfield, I thought that he did a a good job with with uh I thought he did a good job with L up until a certain point and then and then like I can't even blame I can't even blame I can't even blame uh the whole thing with L on on Lakeith Stanfield that that's on the writers that's on the people uh that's that's on the other people behind the movie because. He did some things that L would do, and then they just completely went off script, and and like this, like it just turned it, it just turned into like not not the character, but um uh, like with the Lakeith Stanfield situation, people were mad that they made L black, and I'm like, okay, I know that Lakeith Stanfield's a good actor, I think that he could do the role, and I think that if if they would if they would have tackled L the right way and tackled light the right way it doesn't matter if the if the if the actor was white or black I think I said this for for other live action um for other live action um series and stuff that have gotten announced in the past it's like I don't care about the race of the actor as long as the person can uh can do as long as the person can do the role correctly if you can get somebody that can do Yusuke and do cool bara and do these characters justice and they just happen to be black or asian or japanese or black asian uh latina or or what whatever bro just do it just do it as long as you're not butchering the characters and changing stuff on uh, uh like as long as you're not changing stuff unnecessarily i have no problem with it but uh yeah like my my, my biggest concern with this is really quality and whether or not this is going to be a Japanese production or a Hollywood production. I'm leaning to more, like I'm leaning more to a Japanese production because, uh, just recently, and I can type this in right quick just for y'all that, um, might not know about it. Uh, Alice in Borderland. So I actually caught my mother watching this the other night. Alice in Borderland, for those of y'all that aren't familiar with it, it is a, it is basically a manga and, uh, Netflix 
actually did a adaptation of it, and I believe that this is a Japanese production. Y'all can correct me. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. But this, like, like I said, it, it wouldn't be like with all of these live action, uh, with all these live action uh, anime and manga adaptations that are happening and have happened in the past. Like, it, it wouldn't surprise me that we would. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if this Yu Yu Hakusho thing was completely a, a Japanese production. But Netflix is, you know, Netflix just has it. You know, Netflix is 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 a partner in all this or whatever. Because uh, they, they, they did uh, Alice in Borderland. I haven't checked that out. I'm not familiar. I'm not familiar with Alice in the Borderland, the, uh, the manga. But I just wanted to kind of bring that up here for example. And, like, I think, man, like, I, I hope it's good. But, I mean, Hollywood's track record hasn't been good. And with the, the Japanese productions, I'll, I'll be honest with y'all, I haven't really sat through all of the Japanese movies when, when it comes to the Japanese uh, live action uh, adaptations of, of certain anime. Like the one that I did sit through years ago, the Attack on Titan one, yeah, that was terrible. And Yu Yu Hakusho, like here's the thing, we got the Naruto live action series, uh, so we got or not the live action series, but live action movie rather. So like there was the Naruto live action movie. Uh, recently it was announced the uh, what was it? The Promised Neverland. That's getting a live action series. Um, what else? My Hero Academia. Uh, I believe that's supposed to be getting a movie, a live action movie, and then Gundam. Like there's so many of these live action. Uh, live action adaptations of manga and anime that are supposed to be coming out, but but usually we, we haven't heard a lot about these productions. Like they're very, they are very uh they're very slow. A lot of it, a lot of these productions, a lot of these uh, properties are usually like stuck in development hell for years. I mean, look at the Naruto movie thing, that's been stuck in development hell for years. I don't think we've heard anything. Uh, much on that. The only thing that I've heard a lot about is the Cowboy Bebop thing, uh, with the, uh, the guy from, I think it was White Castle, or was it, um, was it Harold and Kumar? It was one of the, it was one of it, but, um, yeah, so, hopefully this will be good. I just wanted to let y'all know that the Yu Yu Hakusho manga is getting a live action, uh, series adaptation. Uh, if there is more information on this, and matter of fact, before I close this video out, I know this video is long, but before I close this video out, I want to do one search just to make sure I am not, like, missing out on any information in regards to this. Because I only saw that article, and I, I saw it, and I was like, oh my god, they are really doing this. So... Let just give me two seconds just to make sure I'm not missing anything before I go ahead and close this thing out. Okay, so I'm wondering is this it? Is is this it or is this um because you you know uh in Japan they, they like to do um they like to do musicals of like certain animes. So, like they did they did musicals for Naruto and stuff. This could be a musical that they did or a play or whatever. This could be a play. Um, let's see here. I don't think that this, I don't think this is from the movie. This might just be from a play. If this is from the movie, I can say that, that at least it looks like, like this actually looks like from the anime. If it looks like this, if, if it's a Japanese production and it looks like this, even if the, even if the special effects isn't going to be there, because like I mentioned before, if it's, if it's Japanese, then don't expect much in terms of, like, special effects and crap like that. But in terms of, just in terms of just the, the costumes, just, just the way the characters look, their, um, their hairstyles and stuff, just based off of this promotional image, or, because once again, I'm not sure if this is from the actual movie itself, if, if, this is, if this is a promotional image from the movie, or if this is from, or if this is from a play or a, uh, or a, or a musical or something, but if it looks like this, then at least the at least we know that it looks right. It it would look right. But um, just kind of scrolling down here just to make sure. Okay, so I don't think there's any other information in regards to this. 
Yeah, okay, so here's the thing. They're Okay, so okay. This is good right here. So saying that they're gathering the best teams from both Japan and abroad to work on the project. Director of Content Acquisition at Netflix. Kazu Taka Sakamoto. I mentioned him. Duh. Simultaneous worldwide distribution. Mm, man, I, I don't know. If I hear anything else on this, I'll let you guys know. And if, if you know any other information that I just didn't know at the time of, you know, doing this video, let me know. Um, okay, here it is. Uh, so just to clarify what that image is, that is from, uh, that is from the stage plays. So that image of top, uh, these two right here, these are from the stage plays. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The show has been revealed as a Netflix original. So, God, so, yeah, it's going to be in the vein of, of, um, it's going to be in the vein of Death Note live action and what they're doing with One Piece and stuff. So, yeah, throw everything I said about, you know, all that speculation of whether it's going to be Japanese or whatever, throw that all out the window. It's going to be a complete freaking Hollywood adaptation. And now we got, now we, we just got to, Man, we just got to hope and pray that they don't butcher this. And like I said before, they, they track record they ain't exactly the best, man. Like, we don't know how this One Piece... First of all, Netflix, I'm going to need Netflix to slow the heck down and at least at least see what Cowboy Bebop and uh, One Piece does. Because here, here's another thing I, I need to mention. I'm, I'm glad that I, I got it I remembered, man. And once again, I want to apologize. I know this is video long, but uh, there's another thing I need to mention. Because with Hollywood, because I mentioned earlier about the budget, about the fact that, you know, if this is a Japanese production, which we which we now know that it's not a Japanese production, it's not going to be a Japanese movie like what you see in that in that in that um, promotional picture. Um, well, Japanese series, rather. But, um, yeah, so money. In terms of money, in terms of budget, we know that with, with the One Piece budget, and I could probably look this up, but I'm not. Um, well, One Piece budget, I know for a fact that they're, like, going game, game, game of thrones level in terms of the budget that they're going to be throwing at One Piece, which is big, because Game of Thrones budget's really big. I forgot the exact amount, and matter of fact, let me just go ahead and see, see if I can't find that amount right quick for y'all, just so that y'all can see it, because I, I, I believe the budget was put out there. So, it is, what, 9 to $10 million? Yeah, so production costs per episode will be 9 to $10 million. Yeah, so they're, they're throwing money out at this. Like, they're not, they're not trying to kind of cheap out on, on this. They ain't trying to just, just throw something out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, at least we know that it's going to look good. We can assume that it's going to look good. Like I said, Yu Yu Hakusho, I think that, that something like this could work. I think it could work, but another thing we got to question is like, well, how long is this going to be? Is it going to be 13 episodes, 6 episodes, 8 episodes? And and like, what are they going to cover? What exactly are they going to cover? Because I hope that they don't, and this has been a problem with a lot of anime, uh, a lot of anime live action uh, adaptations and, and stuff like that. And, and even I'll throw in Avatar, even though some people don't like to claim Avatar as a as an anime. But I'm wondering, are they going to rush through and try to get to the good stuff like, like the Dark Tournament, for instance? Because I don't want them to rush. If you're going to do this, please take your time. Because th that was kind of the problem with Death Note. They, they kind of rushed. Like, a, like that's one of the main problems with a lot of these adaptations is, like, they're just, they, they just try to rush through through and try to, uh, you know, get to the good stuff. And then they also don't stay faithful to, like, like what I said before, they don't stay faithful to the, to the uh, source material. They start changing stuff around, and then fans get mad. So, um, yeah, man, that's that's pretty much everything. I believe that's pretty much everything. Like I said, if there is something that I did not cover here, 
that I didn't know about at the time of me recording this, then just let me know. And I will go ahead and do another video on it if any if any new information comes out or, or anything like that. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for a Yu Yu Hakusho in live action? Do y'all really want to see this? Do y'all think it's going to be good? Or do y'all think we're going to get another Death Note from, from Netflix? Are we going to get another Death Note style, you know, quality from them? Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys next time. This has been Fino Hate. I'm out of here. Peace.